Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Um, even though I sound rough, I'm actually doing pretty good. Yesterday was a lot rougher. Like, it was pretty bad. Um, and I ended up, like, recording with Max that morning because we're trying to get, like, some pre-recording and stuff done. And then I jumped into caffeine and crime recording. And, oh my gosh, with this voice and trying to, like, get through things. And I was like, yesterday was rough. It was just a full-on day. So, uh, I feel like because of that, I look really rough. I haven't been sleeping very well because, um, obviously, my head cold. I'm sorry, guys. I feel like every single video I film lately, I'm just like, I'm trying to hold it together. <laughs> but I promise, um, I really am trying. <laughs> but today, I have my boxy charm to unbox and obviously do try on because I need to cover this face today and um, I also just want to feel a little bit better. So that's what we're doing today. All right, so this month is Glam Vibes Only. It's Boxy Lux. Honestly, I'm kind of bummed this month, and I hate to say that. I usually love boxy Lux, but last month's regular boxy, just the base box, was incredible. So good. This month, I'm like, but we're going to get into it. It, of course, is this big box right here, so let's just start unboxing, and then I think today I'm going to put stuff on my face as I go. But to get a few things out of the way that I will not be using today, the first one is from 111 Skin or 111, however you say that, um, Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment Mask. It is a five pack. It's the ultimate pre-event mask. This hydrogel formula infuses the skin with radiance, boosting ingredients for a glowing complexion. This retails for $135, so I'm not trying it out today because I'm going to save this and we're going to see what the deal is with this in a skincare Sunday very soon. I may actually film this like tomorrow or something and it'll already be up when you guys watch this or it'll be coming this coming Sunday. So you guys might have a little bit of ways. Oh, sorry, my eyes are watering. These allergies, this head cold. Oh, struggle bus today, but I'm really interested to see how this is $135 for five sheet masks. Must be magic. The next product which I've gotten, I believe, in a FabFitFun before is Ahava Mineral Hand Cream Sea Kissed. So I'm going to set this aside because I have so many creams already open. I don't want to open this one right now. This one retails for $36. It is 5.1 fluid ounces. Treat your hands to a light but luxuriously rich hand cream that helps keep skin and cuticles healthy and protected from the elements. The best selling formula is made with nutrient rich Dead Sea water and soothing witch hazel formulated for daily use to elevate and lock in skin's moisture. So yeah, a hand cream that I'm sure I will go through or use at some point or another. What else am I not gonna use in this box? Um, this, which I've also gotten in the FabFitFun, so I guess they're getting like a lot of the same products as FabFitFun now, but um, I will actually probably save this for a giveaway. I know it's kind of like weird for a beauty channel giveaway, um, but this is the Gravity Weighted Sleep Mask. It says this weighted sleep mask makes the same science behind the gravity weighted blanket to give your face the perfect pressure stimulation. It also blocks out light. Feels amazing thanks to a combination of gray micro plush and imitation cashmere. It retails for $49. But um, yeah, I have the mask. I like mine. I feel like I don't wear it that often. Um, I feel like I would more if we were traveling a lot. I feel like they would be great for like planes or just like long car trips, whatever. Um, if you're needing to get a little bit of rest and I feel like they would like help because weighted stuff is supposed to help like release anxiety and that type of ordeal too. So calms you. Um, so I do like it, but yeah, I already have one. I may see if my husband wants this one, but 
I don't really think it's his thing. So yeah, I'll set it aside for a giveaway probably. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to try out today is from Pharmacy. This is the product I actually got to pick out because usually you can pick out like one of the products in your box every month if you don't forget like I normally do. And I picked out the uh, the Cheer Up Brightening Vitamin C Eye Cream with Acerola, maybe, cherry. But it looks like this. It's just in a little eye cream jar. I'm going to go ahead and try it out. Obviously, we're not going to know like... How this does like over weeks period but we'll see immediate results it says that it's a super hydrating vitamin c rich eye cream that brightens and helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and dark circles delivers instant radiance to the eye area clean fragrance free formula so it just looks like this i'm gonna go ahead and tap some on of course with your ring finger it's always the best to apply eye creams but yeah i picked this um because I love a good eye cream, but I seen that this one was brightening and I have been absolutely loving my Ula Hendrickson one. And I know a lot of people are probably going to think, if you love your Ula Hendrickson one, then why do you have to have this one too? But I'm a skincare junkie, so that's why for me. <laughs> but it feels really nice. Um, it's very gel-like and it just kind of sinks right in. I feel like immediate results are not really there as much as what I get with my Ula Hendrickson one, but we will see over time. And I will, I'm sure, fill you guys in on a future skincare blog or skincare Sunday, whatever the case may be. That does retail for $45. I love pharmacy. Um, their products are pretty awesome. So from here, we're going to jump into some eyeshadow. So I'm going to go ahead and put some MAC Paint Pot on my lids. All right. And since my box does not have like a primer or anything like that, I'm going to go ahead and grab my primer out from over here. I have my Shop My Stash over here, and I'm going to be using my Illuminating Primer from Juice Beauty. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the face so that it's sinking in while I do my eyeshadow. I also have my Dip Brow Gel um, in the shade Blonde from Anastasia Beverly Hills on my brows today. Now for the dreaded zoom up. <laughs> Today I'm going to be going into this palette here from Eloise, I believe. Yes, this is the queen. A queen lies in all of us. I love that. I love the packaging. Look at that, how awesome that is. We're all queens. I have already taken a glimpse at this palette because I decided to keep it because I've never tried this formula before and I hadn't really heard of this brand that much. So I really wanted to try it out. This palette does say that each color tells a story. Each color holds infinite power and carries a unique narrative. I think that's so cool. It's all about women empowerment too. Like, I love that. 20 pigment shades and four stunning textures, eight buttery mattes, six shimmers, one pressed pearl, four metallics, and one duochrome topper. This does retail for $46. It has like a little slip in there and then you have like a good size mirror. And then this is the shades right here, which I think are really pretty. I'm definitely, I did take a sneak peek, obviously with my backdrop, I wanted things to be a little cohesive, but I think I am going to kind of play up pinks and purples today. But before I jump into eyeshadow, I did want to go ahead and talk about this because we have some new brushes to play with today too. This is from Pure Cosmetics, or Pure the Complexion Authority is their actual name. Signature Travel Essentials 12 Piece Cruelty Free Brush Set retails for $49 and you have this beautiful carry-on case which is going to be so handy to have if I ever get to travel again um, and it comes with all these brushes. I'm a little worried about the actual brushes. I think I'm more excited about the case just because these brushes all look so tiny which I know are supposed to be like travel friendly but I'm a little nervous. I'm going to get the eye brushes for now. I'm probably not going to use this guy. I don't really use eyebrow combs like that, so I'm going to set that one aside for now. And then these are all of the eye brushes. So there's a bunch of different little shapes and different types, which I do think is really cool. But this is the only blender brush, and it is pretty tiny. 
All right, so first I am actually just gonna go ahead and go in with highlight first. So I'm going to be taking this like flatter top brush, which I'm sure I'm going to use later on in this look, but this is the P60. I'm gonna take just a little bit of that Empire shade and I'm going to put this on the brow bone. I am a little nervous. I may pick up some other brushes if I need to because this is my first time trying out um, Eloise brand and I don't want to base it on these brushes in case I don't like the brushes either so far. It's pretty good, but we will see if I need other brushes or not. That shade is really pretty, really pigmented. All right, now going into the blender brush and I'm going to take Majesty is this like really royal purple shade it's really pretty though and I'm going to pat this shade right here on this outer part if you notice I am just tapping it down patting it on if you will before I do any blending so that I can really place the pigment on and then I'll just kind of blend around the edges the edges are just blending so easily. I do love that. And because this is the only blender brush, I'm probably going to be using it a lot, but I do have my switch pan. So I will just kind of wipe it in there before moving on. But we're going into a purple shade once again. I'm going to go into Regal. Regal? Regal? Regal. And I'm going to pat this shade down right into the other purple, blending the two together. Just working outer to inner. And now going back into the switch pan, and now taking this pink purple shade called Empress right there, I'm going to take it on the blender brush again and do the exact same thing, pressing it into that lighter purple shade and just going more inward with it. It's gonna be a little pink purple ombre. And then Elizabeth, which is this beautiful hot pink shade, I'm going to pat on. Right there, blending it into Empress. I am going to be taking that flatter brush just to really build up the pigment. Patting that shade on. Now taking the flat brush, I'm going to go into Crown, which is this beautiful purple lilac um, metallic. I'm going to just place this all over the lid. So it's going to be over all of these shades, but just to bring some shimmer to the lid. Nothing too crazy. This shade is just going to mesh the ombre all together while the ombre will still be pretty present up above the crease. I'm going to go a little up above the crease as well because of my hooded eyes it will transfer if I don't. I think I'm going to do a little bit of a wing liner moment as well and then go ahead and finish up some base products since this is BoxyCharm and I'll jump back on to show you guys some more products from the box. All right here's where I'm at. I've Pretty sure I've done quite a bit off camera. All makeup details are always down below in the description box for you guys. Um, I did just go ahead and take this brush here that I was using the flat brush. This is the P60 and I just ran that along my lower lash line after I used a cream gel liner from ColourPop and my waterline. Um, but no extra product, I was just using that like metallic one. I ran that along my lower lash line just to kind of put a little bit of color there, smoke it a little bit. Of course the wing, face makeup, I've done everything. I'm actually about to set my face. All we have now is lips, but there was one other product I wanted to show you guys, Fenty. I was so excited. If you guys don't know, I've wanted to try Fenty for a really long time, but I've never been able to make my mind up on what I want to try. It's just one of those brands I went back and forth with. You would know I would finally get a product from Fenty and a BoxyCharm. This is one of their uh, kilowatt foils. So it's a highlighter, but I'm gonna try to be careful because I'm gonna save this for a giveaway. Unfortunately, I won't be able to keep it. I don't wanna swatch it though. That's not gonna work for me, BoxyCharm. 
I am pretty bummed about it, but one of you guys will receive it in a future giveaway and hopefully it will work for you. The cool thing is, is you can use these as single eyeshadows as well. So even if you wanted to use it for that, you can, but we all know how much I don't use single eyeshadows already. I slack at that. So I think somebody else could use this product. So I'm going to put it aside. It does really suck. Um, what shade was that? Um, Penny for you thoughts and that retails for $36 and then the last thing I got was from Persona Cosmetics it's their season one lip gloss in the shade honey which sounds nice but I don't know how this is gonna look on me because it's the shade right here so I actually think I'm not going to open this one either this is $16 but I don't know I just I don't really think that it would look that good on me it almost looks like a nude um, so instead, I think I'm going to rock the nude lip that I've been loving here recently. This is the lip liner in the shade Love from the KKW Beauty Mrs. West collection. This has been my go-to nude lately. Um, this is also KKW Beauty. This is her cream lipstick in the shade Nude 2 been like perfect for me and I love it with the love lip liner because the love lip liner is still kind of on the nude spectrum while also pulling a little pink so I really like these two together this is like a more new not neutral like more warm but neutral in a way together they're just beautiful the little nude set that I have from hers um, I believe I've done a lip swatch video on I feel like I can wear pretty well, but they do tend to pull a little warm nude wise um, where I would like them to be a little bit more neutral. So with this lip liner, I feel like it pulls this one together a lot more to where it's more wearable for me with my fair skin. Yeah, this is the completed look. But yeah, I'm super excited to keep trying out the Pharmacy Eye Cream. Um, the palette, I think, is really pretty. Um, I'm excited to play with it and dip into it some more. Definitely will and like, some future looks. I think I can come up with some really pretty fall looks, even with, like, the berry shades. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to keep trying it out so far. I think it's really pretty. Um, I love me some good purple and pink eyeshadows, you guys know, so yeah, but I'm definitely going more fall, so I'm gonna have to try to pull together some fall looks with this palette, but it is really pretty, and the formula performed really nicely in this look, so I'm impressed so far. Again, the Persona and Fenty Beauty, I will just set aside for a future giveaway for you guys, and then the Gravity Sleep Mask, I kind of have already given my thoughts on. The brushes, I can honestly say I'm not the biggest fan of. I um, think I will use a lot of these smaller eye brushes for inner corner highlights, some different things like that, so that's really nice. But the face brushes, I didn't even record using them because when I started to use them, I was like, no, and I've got mine. So yeah, these face ones are just kind of a no-go for me. I am really excited about the case though. I think the case is really nice, but BoxyCharm, I'm kind of over the brush sets at this point. Like, I feel like we're all good there. Um, hand cream is always nice, especially with the cold months coming up here soon, but again, it's kind of like, mm. I am excited to try out the sheet mask and see what it's all about because that is pretty pricey for some sheet masks. So stay tuned for that on a skincare Sunday. So yeah, this box, I mean, there's some good products, but overall, I kind of feel like it's kind of like a wah, wah, wah kind of box. I wish that there was, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I've only used like a few products and some I had to set aside because they just don't work for me. I've taken the quiz on my skin tone, what I like, that type of ordeal. So I don't really know what was up with BoxyCharm this month, but I don't know. I'm kind of bummed since it's a boxy lux because I'm always super excited for those, but I'm still excited about some of the products and trying the other products and that type of ordeal, so we'll see how those go, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I will have all the BoxyCharm info down below as well as everything on my face. I feel pretty good after feeling rough. feels nice to have a full face of makeup on again. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.